السلام علیکم سینٹرک پاکستان کمیونٹی آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ ویری گریٹ سب سے پہلے تو آپ لوگوں کو وومنس ڈے کی تمام ان لیڈیز کو جو کہ ایکٹیو لیڈیز ہیں کسی بھی طریقے سے ڈیفینیٹلی یو آر فلنگ یور آل دا ریسپانسبلٹیز جو کہ آپ لوگوں کو اسائن ہے آپ زندگی کے کسی بھی اسٹیج پہ ہیں اور اپنی لائف کے کسی بھی اسٹیج سے آپ گزر رہی ہیں ادھر یو آر وومن ورکنگ وومن اور یو آر اے ہاؤس وائف ڈیفینیٹلی یو ڈیزرو دس دس کانگریچولیشن Congratulations for being a strong woman. Congratulations for being a woman who has a lot of responsibilities in her own responsibilities. Uh, 2021 Women uh, Day jo hai, that is about accepting the challenge. So you have to accept the challenge and you have to move with that challenge in the, in the upcoming year so that you have accepted the challenge in your mind and the challenge in your mind and develop it in your mind and achieve it and achieve it and achieve it کرنے میں ہرڈلز آ رہی ہیں ان ساری ہرڈلز کو کوپ اپ کرنے میں اور ان سے لرن کرنے میں اس ایک سال کو گزارے تو ڈیفینیٹلی اف یو ایکسپٹ دا چیلنج تو آپ کا یہ والا سال بہت سکسیزفل گزرنے والا ہے اور آپ کی اس سارے اس ایئر کو سکسیزفل کرنے میں اور آپ کس طرح سے ایک چیلنج ایکسپٹ کر سکتی ہیں اور کس طرح کی مائنڈ سیٹ کی ضرورت ہے اور ایک بہت ہی فلاسفیکل ٹاک کرنے کے لیے آج ہمارے ساتھ نعیم خان صاحب ہیں ہی از دا ویری سینئر پرسن جو کہ پاکستان کو مختلف پلیٹ فارمس پر بہت اچھے سے سرو کر رہے ہیں ان کا ڈیٹیل انٹروڈکشن ہم لوگوں نے اپنی اس اسٹریم کے جب جنریٹ کی تھی تب بھی پوسٹ کر دیا تھا بیکاز اٹ واز اگر میں ان کا انٹروڈکشن کروانے لوگوں کو تو میرا خیال ہے ہمارا جو ہاف ٹائم ہے چیلنجز So welcome Anim Khan sahab and I want to give you a little bit of introduction to the children for the introduction so that they get familiar with you. So nice of you Dr. Rizwana for hosting this great event and I am also observing you, you are doing a great job and you are creating Thank awareness, you. career counseling and um, educating young generation. So that is uh, such a great job that you are doing and I really appreciate it. And that's why I'm here also. Uh, my name is Naeem Khan. Uh, when I did my <clears throat> MPhil, so after that we started an educational project. Uh, the name of the education project was The Home of Knowledge. It was in Swat mm -hmm. District. And mm -hmm. uh, Malala Yusufzai's father, uh, Ziaul Yusufzai, he was my partner. And we had other mm -hmm. partners. So we started an educational project. And then later on, it was converted into Career Building Academy. And then we started a school, Career Model School. And okay. we would take the children to the office of Deputy Commissioner, Sabudunda Police, doctors, engineers, industrialists, business persons, even in primary classes. Mm -hmm. And we would tell them okay. that, look, one day you can be Assistant Commissioner, one day you can be a uh, deputy commissioner, you can be a doctor, you can be a scientist, you can be an engineer. So that was uh, my initial uh, stage of uh, educational activities. Later on, I did uh, PCS, Primitial Civil Services. So I was myself mm -hmm. assistant commissioner and magistrate. And then I was, uh, I did CSS, Central Superior Services. So I uh, became a foreign service officer, a diplomat. And I served uh, in many countries and I have been to more than 70 countries uh, throughout the world. Today, I speak uh, 10 languages and I'm also supporting a uh, foundation, Self-Actualization Foundation, SAF, SAF, Self-Actualization okay. Foundation. That how people mm -hmm. can actualize, how they can convert their potential into actual uh, reality. And then we are also supporting another organization, LPCS. Uh, life coaching, personality development, counseling, and spirituality. And also we are running, we are working, we are starting to work on another project, and that is OR, O-R-E, Our Renaissance and uh, Enlightenment. That how can uh, we become uh, enlightened? How can we become developed? How uh, 
we should be proud and we should have a great place in the committee of nations mm -hmm. okay okay nice very nice so uh, all the students who are listening uh, names up that they can visit these all these platforms and we can we will mention the links in the description later on um, mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about the life and when, when we talk about the life in the in the, in the developing countries uh, everybody is facing challenges in in each and every aspect of their lives uh, today we are specifically focusing on the challenges which a woman is being uh, is being fa uh, facing in in the country uh, specifically in pakistan or in our region or is miss specifically when we talk about the uh, about the challenges uh, which a woman faced in in uh, in her career being a scientist they are, they are they are the uh, they are the huge number of challenges we can say means from from their uh, basic studies to the to the establishment of their own infrastructure for a, for a very good research is a big challenge for a woman so um, can 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 you explain uh, that how a woman can meet a challenges which she faced during her journey towards uh, to be a great scientist means uh, when we talk in our region to hamare region mein कोई भी इतनी इंटेलेक्चुअल और इतनी हाई प्रोफाइल फीमेल साइंटिस्ट जो है हमें नजर नहीं आती व्हाट आर द आर द रीजन बिहाइंड एंड हाउ हाउ फीमेल कैन कोप अप ऑल दिस चैलेंजेस ताकि वो लेवल को अचीव कर सके जो कि जरूरी है थैंक यू फॉर सच अ ब्रिलियंट क्वेश्चन आई एम श्योर दैट आवर पीपल दे आर वाचिंग अस एंड इफ दे हैव एनी क्वेश्चन और कमेंट सो प्लीज मेक द कमेंट्स आल्सो विजिबल टू मी so i sure. i would love to have an interactive participative uh, approach so that uh, we can also take their questions and uh, we can have uh, interaction with them also sure and then i will take all the questions definitely uh, first of all i will prefer that we will uh, take your opinion about some important questions yes 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 but i mean if they have some question or some remarks so you can also convey that to me okay. so that we have participate in interactive kind of a uh, discussion uh, science uh, that is uh, not considered a very important uh, profession in our uh, country and uh, in the region in all the developing countries people they go for their immediate physiological needs uh, they just want to have some job and uh, they want to marry have some family and that's all so our desires are very limited we do not want to have global fame we do not have some critical thinking creativity uh, so that we can make a big name on the globe we can get nobel prize or we can have some invention we can have for example if pakistan would have invented corona uh, vaccine so that would be such a big name for the country so uh, i mean that uh, uh, our people they are not prioritizing science and why they are not prioritizing science because the theoretical aspect of science that is uh, philosophy philosophy is basically natural science philosophy means critical mm. thinking uh, intellectual exactly. approach using your brain so philosophy mm. is also unknown in our uh, society we have one name alam ikbal who died in 1938 and after that till 72 years we don't have a single philosopher a single intellectual even ikbal was a uh, kind of poet and he was not that philosopher like uh, plato or aristotle or uh, hegel or um, uh, descartes or hume or uh, hobbes so the issue is that uh, we have to prioritize in our education system philosophy and science and we should honor our scientists i congratulate women uh, on today's uh, 8th of march and this is women day so you were talking about women scientists even we don't have male scientists men scientists and it is a big problem because on global level we do not have uh, a big name so one of my project and with your cooperation we will continue it further our enlightenment our renaissance uh, how europe they came out of the dark ages they it philosophy brought them out of the dark ages when they started studying mm -hmm. uh, philosophy they discovered greek philosophy through some persian and arab uh philosophers so when they discovered that philosophy is uh, the use of brain that you can have critical thinking you can have creativity you can have theories you can have imagination and you can understand the nature nature is not so much complicated 
that uh, uh, you have to be a blind believer. You can understand the laws of nature. You can control nature. You can uh, have uh, your measurements of the different phenomena which is occurring in nature. So from mm-hmm. philosophy, if we go to science, so there will be women's scientists, there will be uh, men's scientists, and we have to promote philosophical, rational, empirical culture so that people start using their brain. We are blind followers. Whatever our teachers tell us, we take uh, it in the form of notes, we claim it, we learn it by rote and by heart, and we uh, go to examination hall, we just write it. There is no laboratory work. In all the uh, government and uh, private uh, sector schools and colleges, I have never seen any laboratory uh, in full uh, action. Only classrooms are there, lectures are there, uh, notes are there, summaries are there, and writing in examination hall, getting degrees, getting a job, and that's all. Okay, so when we talk about the steps uh, a, a student or a youngster or, or, or a young lady have to follow to be a critical thinker, to be uh, mm-hmm. to be uh, like a good philosopher, mean he or she should the philosophy or every matter and every aspect of uh, the things mm-hmm. happening in the world. So what what is the basic basic or first step uh, he or she to take to be a critical thinker means critical thinking definitely leads toward him or her towards a, toward a person mm-hmm. who know the philosophy of the things and he can put his own her own thinking in that matter so what is the first step to be a critical thinker to be a philosopher to know the philosophy of the matters being uh, yes uh, excellent question when we separate our uh, mind from the object outside. So it is okay. the first step of critical thinking. Because we have yeah. our thoughts, we have our desires, our wishes, mm-hmm. our imagination, our mm-hmm. ideas, which is inside our brain. Okay. And once we separate this from the objective reality, which is outside, and we start... Can you, can you please explain it, explain it with a simple example also so a person who is listening yes. this topic first time can understand it very well. Exactly. For example, you're going to uh, a shop and you want to buy a pair of shoes. Okay. Now, shoes, shoes, that is an object. If you are going to buy the- orange or apple, so apple mm-hmm. is an object. Now, okay. you have your likes and dislikes in your mind you may like apple, you may not like apple, you may like red apple, you may like uh, a yellow color of apple. So when you forget your own likes and dislikes, your own prejudices, your own biases, your own uh, likes and dislikes, and you totally focus on the quality, characteristics, features, chemical composition of apple. You okay. read, you study the apple, So this is called objective analysis. You are analyzing the object. You are not passing judgment whether I love apple, but why you love apple. So you go for analysis, for the chemical analysis, that apple has iron, apple has vitamins, Mm -hmm. apple has minerals, apple is Mm -hmm. uh, uh, a very good food. It helps to have a balanced diet. If I eat an apple, so then my stomach will be digesting other food, and then my body will be having uh, mm-hmm. more positive uh, reactions. So this is called objective analysis. You don't just announce, I like apple, but why you like okay. apple? What is, mm-hmm. what is apple? What is the chemical composition of apple? How apple is grown? How uh, a seed or a small plant becomes uh, an apple tree? How this uh, apple is different from orange? What is the comparison and contrast between orange and apple? So this is called objective analysis. We are analyzing the object as it is without our own likes and dislikes. And then we evaluate it. We put a value on it. And then we Mm. make a decision. So critical thinking has three steps. To analyze the object, to put a value on it, and then to make a decision are to make a judgment based on analysis, not on personal likes and dislikes. 
okay yes you you told earlier that we mostly follow the things which have been set we, we follow the set patterns and that's why we are lacking in critical thinking and this critical thinking is uh, is uh, pushing up towards uh, towards the future which is uh, which is not as bright as a, as a person who's a critical thinking can have so be a critical thinking definitely help you to analyze the thing critically and make you a good observer and make you a person with his or her own thinking with with his or her own point of view and that thing which matters a lot when you when you go to prove your individuality when you talk about your individuality your opinion that comes uh from critical thinking when you think critically when you observe critically and when you develop your own opinion about the things so this is the thing definitely which helps a lot uh what is what are the major factors which are necessary uh to for for a person uh to bring uh, in in his or her brought up or when we talk about the uh the environment at the homes means uh, what should uh, the important points parents should take care while uh, brought up their children uh, means what kind of thinking are necessary because uh, definitely students are learning from their from the homes or from their institute so when we talk about the home this is the first place from where they are getting all the trainings they are getting all the mindset they are getting all the aspects of thinking so what what are the what are the major points parents should take care while bringing up their children uh this is again very relevant question critical thinking has four stages number one stage is curiosity asking questions okay. why mm -hmm. why what where how so when uh, at homes when a child is growing so child has a lot of questions so what is Definitely. this why it is and how we can do it and how it happens and where from my uh, you know neighbor is doing this thing what about this car how this car is functioning so we should mm -hmm. satisfy their uh, our questions whenever they ask, start ask questions we should encourage them if we do mm -hmm. not have the answers so we should go for google we should ask our neighbor we should call someone on telephone look my child is mm -hmm. asking this question do you have the answer for it we should not suppress mm -hmm. them we should not say okay leave it our no, god most of the cases we give them a shut up call or we can we want to up, make yeah. them uh, quiet definitely so this is this should yeah, this uh, should be okay and we should not give them very simple uh, explanations that everything is done by your father or everything is done by the government mm -hmm. or it is by the president or it is by okay. the god or it is by the my forefathers or it is coming in ah. your family i don't know so we mm. should have the exact answers for them and we should tell that answer in their language but scientific answers philosophical okay. answers not okay. dogmas not putting not mm -hmm. uh, stuffing their minds with uh, things which tomorrow they will be confused that uh, my father or my mother told me this answer but this is not the answer mm -hmm. why the book is telling something else google is telling okay. something else youtube is telling something so then there will be a kind of problem between uh, your family love and books and then this way we are producing split personalities people who are confused that my culture my family books science philosophy my teacher is telling me one thing my family is telling me another thing where is the reality where is the truth so right from the beginning whenever they have curiosity so we should satisfy their curiosity second thing is creativity we should not okay. let them all the time watching tv or watching uh, youtube or games we should bring drawing books we should bring some uh, scientific simple material we should give them some science based games so that they are physically involved uh, with those games for example mm -hmm. we should tell them how oxygen and hydrogen can be combined oh look we have water this uh, salt that we have this is not just salt it is the combination mm. of two chemicals uh, sodium mm. and chloride and how mm. the salt comes into being we should take them to kevada we should take them to some salt mines we should tell them that look this is a natural process this happens if we have a small garden so we should tell them look if i put this seed so after a week mm. it will be a plant and this plant will be growing and then there will be branches there will be fruit mm. so creativity we should uh, make them involved not only in screen gaming all the time and uh, doing uh, non physical activities we should take them to some uh, zoo uh, maybe some botanical garden 
nowadays zoos are a bit, uh, a bit sensitive issue we should not imprison animals but at least uh, we should show them animals we should show them birds plants some natural habitat if we go to mari or we go to some historic uh, place or we go to swat so it is not only for mm-hmm. eating and uh, drinking and coming back when we go to mm-hmm. swat to tell them that what what is the uh, flora and fauna of swat how the plants of swat are different from islamabad how the plants of islamabad are different from karachi why karachi has a tropical or subtropical uh, climate and why himalayas or gilgit or baltistan has another climate how mm-hmm. the nights and days are formed what about the rotation of uh, you know our solar system our we are earth how the earth is globe how nights and days how seasons how weather how climate what is climate change what is global warming so all these points simple simple points we should keep in their minds so they will start enjoying studying nature and they will start enjoying uh, loving nature so we have curiosity creativity and the third stage is skepticism skepticism okay. means that let them, let them doubt things maybe it is okay. not true so let me mm. falsify it let me reject it let me find the mm. answer and the last mm. point is research investigation okay. tell them to mm. continue your investigation find their own answers go to google read encyclopedia britannica even wikipedia and get your own answers mm-hmm. okay fine we uh, uh, try to uh, come back to our basic topic uh, the topic of talk today we are talking about and we are talking about the challenges which a uh, women scientist is facing specifically in pakistan and in our region and when we talk about that then definitely the major thing major challenges is the responsibilities which a woman or a, um, a woman in a science women in research have to face so uh, how how women can cope up all these challenges how a woman can make a balanced life being a philosopher being an experienced person definitely you are the best one who can answer this question and can give a road map to the young researchers to the young women who want to come in this field because definitely it's a 9 to uh, full time job we can say not 9 to 5 because when you are a scientist you are in a thinking process all the time and you are inverting the things you are bringing new ideas so you have to think critically <laughs> so that's why we are focusing on the critical critical thinking uh, importantly and what are the what are the major uh, things which a young lady or a young woman in science have to follow uh, to meet the challenges and to improve in a, in a field of science yeah uh, if we start from our primary education and uh, children they get uh, interest in science including uh, female and then secondary education and when we have some science foundation some prizes are given we have science mm-hmm. fairs and our teachers give them a task they do something which is not available in google but have some new idea have some new mm-hmm. for example one, one of my student he uh, united states g- gave him a scholarship because he gave them an idea that when we talk on telephone so we see each other we listen to our mm-hmm. voice but i want mm-hmm. to invent uh, a system that we can even uh, feel the smell the fragrance of the other person or mm-hmm. if you have eaten uh, potato or tomato or onion mm-hmm. so i can have the smell while we are talking okay. to each other so this is okay. a new thing new idea nobody uh, thought over it because now mm-hmm. there is a huge competition uh, in mm-hmm. science so women women by nature they are micro managers they are uh, giving oh. into details uh, they mm. are not super people women usually they are more mature than men uh, they are more meticulous mm. they are more conscious they are more aware they are not mm. <laughs> that much stupid stupid as men are women they take their time <laughs> in decision making okay the very have, the very very first point you are talking about huh most of the people yeah. ignore this point <laughs> yeah now they are thoughtful women are usually thoughtful you might have seen a man running after a woman but woman is not like that woman takes her time she thinks over things she makes a decision she makes plus minus 
and uh, after that she analyzes the situation and then she comes up with a decision or judgment or whatever so this is in the nature mm-hmm. of uh, femininity that they are micro managers mm-hmm. they are going into details they are not superficial they are analytical you see there is a for example a program so a woman will come and she will see everything and she will fix everything very quickly while male uh, with the rough tough kind of approach will not will see big big things but will mm-hmm. not see small things mm-hmm. so uh, women by nature they can be excellent scientists because uh, okay. they are keen observers they are keen observers if they are encouraged if they are given opportunities and they are giving uh, kind of uh, opportunities that yes you can be having a family you can have children you can be pregnant you can have a, a reproductive cycle which is by nature also your responsibility to mm-hmm. be a mother to be a daughter to be a sister but at the same time you nature has gifted you a lot of so many other uh, features also you can handle so many things women they are mm-hmm. multitasker multitaskers by nature you might have seen a woman taking care of her child also cooking mm. also cleaning also attending the guests mm. also going there and there so that's why uh, m- women they are running governments they are running big big states there are so many chief executive officers coe uh, coes in uh, different ceos in different uh, countries in different companies uh, imf uh, is le- uh, was led by a woman a- people think that women they are not good in finances or economics or uh, calculations or arithmetic or mathematics so she is good everywhere she can handle so many things nowadays in the modern times people are not having 10 children or 12 or 15 children mostly one to maximum three in 45 years of your life so it is not a big deal that uh, just having children or family should become a big obstacle you can have one two three children and it happens in 45 if you are 20 25 30 years old still you have 15 uh, uh, th- uh, 20 25 years ahead of your mm-hmm. reproductive cycle so till 40 or 45 you can have children and after 45 50 55 60 75 age you can become productive not only reproductive but also productive if you can mm-hmm. produce a child if you can become pregnant and you can have a child and nine months and after that you are growing and you are looking after the child and you are making him or her another human being you are creating uh, a new life so why you are ignoring your own life if you have that capacity yeah. that ability that you are so doing such an important the most important function in this universe is uh, having you know producing another life another human mm. being and you are doing So if you can do that how you cannot do uh, become a scientist a philosopher an economist uh, you know a doctor engineer how you cannot conduct your research so time management energy management we have to manage our energy and time in a wiser way then women can do a lot more than men Definitely. In most of the cases, when we talk about the uh, women, so our our society, our relations are not as much supportive, as not much positive, and giving them a uh, means they are not giving them a positive energy. They are not giving them the 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 motivation they need to take to take these these kind of steps. They are they are always being demotivated. They are always being uh, mm-hmm. uh, realizing them the other responsibilities you they have to take and. and when 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 they talk about themselves when they talk about to adopt these kind of a professional uh, we can say road maps most of the time they have to feel they have to face the discouragement they have to face uh, uh, these kind of negative vibes uh, which are going to put them back uh, with what what they want to do what they want to become in their life so the i think the only thing that is the positive positive behavior a little bit motivation is the only thing which is required for a woman to go ahead in her life and to achieve his goals and and to accept the challenges which most of most of the cases are she she thinks that she can't <laughs> A, 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 a small motivation uh, a little bit positive behavior from other relations enough for for a lady 
to achieve all kind of challenges so um, this is the big message we want to deliver today to the to the to the young scientists to the youngsters who want to pursue in their life who want to pursue in the uh, to to build their careers and to adopt a professional life but they are feeling hesitant they are feeling confused what they have to choose you can do you can you can do you, you can manage your practical and uh, personal life in a very well manner the the only thing you have to do is learn how to manage your time and how to manage your responsibilities the last question which i want to ask how a philosophy can play a role uh, in 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 the life of a, of a, in a, uh, means a scientist or an uh, when we talk about the science in a in a broad spectrum art spirituality psychology and law what is the, what is the role of philosophy basically so now as a few one thing i want to clarify that i am not so much uh, in favor of motivation motivation means that when you have a motive when you have a need so automatically mm -hmm. you will be doing it for example if i am hungry I am hungry. Okay, definitely. So automatically, mm. I will be searching bread. A uh, bread. I will be mm. automatically searching food, diet, because I am hungry. I do not need any external uh, need. Basically, the most important thing here is inspiration. Inspiration means that you have the spark inside mm. you. You are proactive. Definitely. You do not. You do not mm. depend on others. You are not a parasite. if mm. another person push you so you go if another person does not motivate mm. you or push you so you stop so yes we should motivate we should mm. reinforce we should encourage mm. there should be science foundations there should be science prizes if we cannot have nobel prize at least we should announce pakistani prize name after some pakistani Definitely. scientist if there is any scientist mm. i don't know in the whole pakistan do we have any scientists or not my own research tells me that to 220 million people we do not have a single globally known scientist so if there is any scientist mm. so or if there is no science scientist at least on the name of some science we should declare one prize if you do some internationally internationally accepted uh, invention or discovery or theory pakistan will give you the mm. prize if we cannot go to nobel prize mm -hmm. it may take some time but at least uh, on national level we should go for that so inspiration inside motivation that is more important now philosophy is basically oh. philo philo and sophia these are two words philo and sophia philo and sophia okay. love mm -hmm. of wisdom love of wisdom philo means love sophia means wisdom so philosophy means the love of wisdom some people they do not okay. like wisdom they do not like wisdom mm. they just want to have an animal life animal kind of life eating sleeping drinking having children and that's all they live their life without any legacy some people they want to be wise and they want to be wise to leave legacy once they die and they uh, apply the formula of lafal L W A F L. Lawful means learn, apply, accomplish, leave legacy, uh, be famous, and leave legacy. L A A F L. Mm -hmm. So these people are wise people. <clears throat> so in history, the first wise person that we had that was Socrates. Socrates, he was a wise person, and he Socrates is the founder of critical thinking. So philosophy is another name. critical thinking because you cannot become wise all of a sudden you have to go through some experiences you have to go through some concepts some imagination some theorization some thinking some critical thinking in inside your mind then you go outside and then you have some experiences and those experiences make you a wiser person so philosophy is not just uh, something which is abstract or theoretical or philosophy is basically the love of wisdom when you are rational rational using your brain you are mm. empirical empirical mm. means that you are using experiences your senses then you become transcendental and you become intuitive transcendental intuitive means that you are uh, going to love nature art and you become intuitive your intuition your sixth sense 
becomes very active. Once okay. you use your brain, you use your senses, then you love nature. And the fourth stage is that you become intuitive. Intuitive means that you are using your sixth sense. Then knowledge comes to you. You do not go after knowledge. So this, these are the three stages of the four stages of philosophy. So philosophy okay. is the rational, empirical, transcendental, and intuitive search of reality. What is reality? What is mm. truth? What mm. is logic? What is mm. reasoning? What is mm. argument? What is ethics? And mm. what is happiness? How can I become happy? What is the purpose of life? Why I am here on this earth? Why? What are my responsibilities on this planet? So when you become a thoughtful person, analytical person, you want to go into details, mm. you want to discover, you want to know the answers, and this quest, this thirst of knowledge is philosophy. So when you have this thirst of knowledge, you, are, you have curiosity, creativity, uh, skepticism, investigation, and you are doing objective analysis, you are doing evaluation, you are making decisions. So basically you are utilizing philosophy. And once you, your mind is, you are intelligent, you are smart, you are active, so then you go to science. Philosophy will make you scientist because your brain started working. You are not believing in any authority that, okay, in that book it has been mentioned, or my teacher told me, so it may be true. You find your own truth. You do not believe in everybody uh, so easily. You find your own truth. And how can you find your own truth? You will start using your brain. And when you start using your own brain, so you are becoming philosopher. Thank you very much. Thank you, Raven. So by uh, unfolding an, another very important aspect of uh, thinking, which mostly people ignore. And uh, when we are we are we are going through this process, we are not um, in in a in a thinking process that we are discovering the philosophy of any matter. So when we were in PhD, we have been uh, going through a course of philosophy, and that was a non-credit course. But we have to pass that course before uh, getting into our, our research. So th this was the basic reason that we should know the philosophy that we are going to find out and uh, in which kind of thinking process we should go through. Uh, inshallah, inshallah, mm -hmm. in our next session, we will try to unfold all the aspects of philosophy which a good researcher should know and should go through when uh, he or she is uh, in, a, in, a, in a phase to perform his or her research. And uh, thank you very much uh, for, for your valuable time, for your valuable thoughts, uh, for, uh, for giving uh, you, uh, for giving our audience a new aspect of thinking because most of the audience which we have on this platform belong to sciences, belong to research and uh, maybe uh, they have uh, go through a new aspect of thinking which is necessary to be a good scientist. Thank you very much. Anything which you want to say uh, before going to uh, before leaving this session? Yeah, so nice of you for this uh, great event. I'm uh, Thank personally you. grateful, uh, Dr. Rizwana. You're doing a great job. You are Thank talking you. about science. You are talking about critical thinking, philosophy. You are promoting a culture. This is what we need. This that is, definitely, which is not which is not there. So we have to get mm. it. I am expert mm -hmm. on uh, research methodology, how to conduct research, how to go for mm -hmm. literature citage, how to make synopsis, mm -hmm. how to conduct the real research, what are the different steps of uh, research, what, what is thesis, how we can uh, become a real genuine uh, kind of uh, researchers, not mm, plagiarism or copy paste or uh, stuff like that. Okay, okay. So we will be having some sessions mm -hmm. on uh, research methodology. Uh, we will be promoting scientific uh, thought. Basically, science is not only science. It is not only technology. Mm -hmm. Science is also mm -hmm. scientific method. Scientific method means Definitely. that when you, when you observe, you analyze, you theorize, you make law, you make formulae, you are rational, you are empirical. So scientific method is not necessary that everybody should be a scientist. If we have mm. scientific method, it can help us in other areas of life. And science mm. is not only uh, chemistry or biology or physics. Economics is also Different. science. Sociology is also science. Political science mm. is already a science. Gender studies, that is a science. 
so we have social sciences we have natural sciences we have exact sciences we have uh, mathematics so all these are uh, sciences science means any organized systematic objective uh, compilation or collection of data and information when it is properly organized and properly presented then it becomes science if it is about nature so it is natural science if it is about society then it is social science so it doesn't mean that everybody has to go to a laboratory and conduct a scientific exactly. experiment exactly yeah. exactly so we should develop overall uh, scientific uh, atmosphere once again thank you very much all the best see you very soon thank you very much thank you very much allah hafiz